What's up guys, Ricardo on here, and today I'm going to go over um, <laughs> some very sad news, I guess, for you uh, TCG players out there. It is that uh, this card, Lysander's Trump card, is now banned from competitive play at all sanctioned events. This ban will start on June 15th. Um, it's been getting around the internet quite fast, uh, so I really don't think you guys would just be like, oh, well, I didn't know about this. You guys probably already know about this. The ban, um, did take into effect yesterday. I mean, it didn't take into effect, but it, um, it was announced yesterday. Uh, I think Japan, it's banned June 20th, so they get to use it for an extra five days, I guess. Um, this means that you can't, you're not going to be able to use this card in nationals or worlds, which kind of stinks, but, um, yeah, basically this card, uh, you guys probably know, already know what it does, but it says, uh, each, uh, one sec. Each player shuffles all cards in his or her discard pile into his or her deck, except for trump cards. So, um, it pretty much allowed, uh, any cards from the discard pile to, um, to be shuffled back in the deck, which, um, according to the official Pokemon website, they just posted this article yesterday. I'll uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Yeah, right there. <laughs> um, but so anyways, this is what they said. So they said uh, it eliminates one of your opponent's victory conditions running out of cards in your deck. Uh, yeah, this is commonly referred to as a deck out, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty fair considering that, you know, you, like when you're really, you know, into the battle, and then you're like, "Oh, I lost because of a deck out." Like that's kind of a, it's kind of a crummy way to lose. Like you never want to lose because of a deck out, but um, yeah, I guess they just said, you know, it's one of the rules we made that if you deck out, you lose. So um, yeah, and with this card, because that like everyone plays this card uh, up until now, probably, but um, yeah, everyone played this card, so they wouldn't have to worry about decking out. So yeah, I guess that's why that was um that was brought up. Uh, they also say it allows repeated use of powerful trainer cards. <laughs> um, okay, that's kind of the same thing. <laughs> uh, same dowsing machine does that, I guess. Uh, it's kind of a oddly worded way uh, of saying that. Um, they also say allows drawing through your deck quickly with minimal repercussions. So uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go over some examples, but like basically, people, uh, so some deck strategies out there. Uh, like I said, I'll go into that uh, a little bit later in depth on what what decks use this. But yeah, some decks would like literally the entire strategy is to just like blow through your entire deck, um, and then use a uh, trump card or VS Seeker uh, to get trump card and then use it to um, to get everything back in your deck. And so all all like these people do who play these decks or just blow through their deck, use trump card, and they just keep using it. I mean, because they'll probably have some versus seekers in there, a VS seeker. Uh, so yeah, this pretty much means you can't blow through your deck anymore because there's nothing to recycle uh, your discard pile back in your deck. And the last thing they say is uh, it extends the time of battles. So I guess uh, they also want to... Um, they also want to keep the time down, especially in those, like, uh, in the qualifying rounds for Nationals or Worlds or something. Uh, time is pretty important. They got to keep the time down. Uh, I understand. That's why they made, uh, if you guys didn't know this, uh, now you know. That's why, uh, VGC, the video game, uh, VGC, video game competition, I think. <laughs> I'll just assume that's what it's, uh, it's what it stands for. But anyways, uh they're double battles because single battles took too long and they do and so yeah time is always um big issue i guess with uh, competition and stuff um and yeah uh that's pretty much all they gave for banding this card and uh yeah some here's some decks that i really think that will be affected by it um first of all uh seismic toad slurpoff um i mean not so much this deck because it doesn't really require you blowing through your deck but um yeah, pretty much, or, you know, any any deck with Slurpuff, what they try to do, they just try to, you know, blow through their deck using Slurpuff, and then they don't care if they stick them right out, because they can just trump card. Um, yeah, uh, Slurpuff allows you to pick a card, and then if it's an active, you get to pick two cards with the ability tasting. You guys probably already know that. Uh, also, a deck that'll, um, that will 
fall, I mean not fall, it'll still be played, but that will suffer from this uh, rule change, is uh, all, pretty much all Shaman decks, all decks that revolve around Shaman, because um, I've seen some decks that max out Shamans, I mean that that's pretty hard to, you know, get, you know, when you're, um, when you're looking at cost and everything, because those Shamans, I think it's like, what, uh, 30, no, I think in Troll and Toad, it's 40 bucks for a full art Shaman, from, this is from Maurice, guys, by the way, and, um, 32 for, uh, regular Shaman, so, like, that's, like, that's pretty big, and, I mean, you might not see many of these decks, but even decks that only have a couple Shaman, uh, ability, what's it called? It's not called Return, it's called Setup, yeah, <laughs> um, allows you to pick cards in your hand until you have six, so, uh, this is how I use Shaman, uh, you pretty much just, uh, you pretty much go through your deck, uh, Usually you want to use all the cards and you have an Ultra Ball or something. Discard the last two cards of your hand. Get a Shaman. Put a Shaman down. Uh, get six cards in your hand. And then Ann or Colorus or something. Um, to to get like... Pr you're pretty much getting two new hands from that. If you use your first hand. Ultra Ball for a Shaman. Or you have a Shaman. Get six more. And then uh, reshuffle your deck. Get a new deck. That's pretty much having like three decks in the same turn. So uh, Trump card pretty much prevents... Not that. It prevents... Sycamoring, uh, or junipering, or whatever, discarding your cards in your hand. Um, yeah, because Sycamore takes a heavy toll without Trump card because you discard the cards. Uh, the last deck I would like to talk about that is affected by this. Um, you guys probably already know what it is. It is the Night March deck, and let me tell you, I've I've seen that the only real counter to Night March decks is a Trump card. And the reason for that is because, you know, the strategy of Night March is just to discard um, as many Pokemon that know Night March as possible. And then you just, and you're like, oh, no, wait, like, instead of dishing out, like, what, 160 damage? No, you're going back to 20, <laughs> the default, because now they're all in back in the deck. So this, uh, this card did have uh, a negative impact on Night March decks, which is why people like to play it against Night March. So um, you, you might say, oh, well, um... Now, Night, Mar Night March decks are all, like, overly powerful because there's not these. Um, no, not exactly. Because, because, <laughs> um, in Night March decks, uh, y y as you know, the goal is to discard as many Pokemon that know Night March as you can. The only problem with that is, uh, most people kind of go crazy, or, you, you don't even have to go crazy. Listen, if you have, um, let's say if you discard only half of your Night March Pokemon, uh, you're like, oh yeah, without Trump card, I can't fish these Pokemon back into my deck, so I'm going to conserve. Okay, well now you're not dishing out as much damage. But if you do, if you do discard as many, like a lot of Night March Pokemon, and you only have a couple Pokemon left, the other, uh, the other guy you're battling has some strong Pokemon that can one-hit KO both of them in a matter of two turns, then you're like, oh, well, you know, I'm screwed. Like, what do I do? Uh, Trump card is pretty much the only solution to this. That if, uh, that if both of your Pokemon in a Night March die, or at least one of them, and you want to, you know, get some other Night Marchers back in your deck, you can't do that. So I feel like Trump card will have a positive and negative impact on the, um, on Night March decks because of this. Another deck I wanted to talk about, it's, uh, I, I wasn't planning on talking about it, but I'll, I'm going to talk about it anyways. Uh, it has not received any popularity. I don't think I've never seen it before until now. So basically, what it is, it's uh, how do I say this? It uses Bunnelby, the ancient trait one. Uh, it has a move called Rotelier, and it has another one, but the other one's the main focus. I forgot what the name is. It pretty much allows you to discard a card off your your opponent's deck. Oh, okay, and it does no damage. So you're like, oh yeah, okay, one card off the top of my deck, what's that going to do? It also has Omega Barrage, which is uh, allows you to do it again. So you're pretty much discarding two cards off of your opponent's deck. Um, you may be like, okay, what's the big deal? Discard two cards, sure, that's <laughs> that's what I do for an Ultra Ball. On top of that, with Ninjask from Morning Skies, uh, every turn you can... Jeez, uh, I forgot what the card text is, but I think it says you can discard two cards... Um, from the opponent's deck. So that so that's discarding four cards, and then on top of Trick Shovel, I think Trick Shovel discards a card from your opponent's hand. So that's pretty much insane. You're discarding five cards per turn, 
Plus, you know, the other person's probably already doing Sycamores or Ultra Balls, so they're probably adding to that. Without Trump Card, that's going to hurt. So, I mean, that deck's not very practical, because then again, you can't really attack at all. Bundle Bees, uh, I, I don't know what it's called. That one attack, we'll just say, um, doesn't do any damage. So, if you're just one-hit KOing everything, then, you know, that's fine. You That doesn't really affect you. But if you're, like, a slow deck, like a Seismato deck, they don't care about item cards. They don't care if they don't use them. They can still deck you out anyways. So, um, that's, that's exactly what they'll do. So, if you don't have a really powerful deck against, uh, I, I'm not sure if these cards are gonna, or this, this deck's gonna gain popularity, uh, due to the ban of the Trump card, but it might. I don't know. Only time, we'll find, we'll, uh, we'll answer this, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, that, uh, that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, just a, just a quick, uh, update on the giveaways. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, bleh, I, I couldn't get to the giveaways. It's my laptop and everything. Um, hopefully I will be giving away, giving them away today. So stay tuned today. Make sure you stay tuned today to get, um, if you don't know about the giveaway, I probably mentioned my last, you know, 10 videos or something. It's probably an exaggeration, but, um. Yeah, it's Lucario, Greninja, Talonflame. I'm not going to go too much in depth. Rodan Wash and Garchomp. All shiny. All perfectly competitive. All 6 IVs. All that good stuff. Uh, if you want to win those, uh, I'll, I'll link to the, the giveaway video in the description. But, uh, yeah. I Hopefully, I will get that get to that today. Uh, yeah, like I said, that uh, that pretty much wraps, uh, wraps it up for this video. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and... Uh, and please give me comment. Uh, oh my god, that was <laughs> that was pretty bad. Uh, geez, I can't believe that was on uh, that was on tape. But anyways, um, make sure to comment your suggestions for the uh, for my upcoming videos. I'm thinking about doing a vlog on uh, national championships. I think that'd be really cool. I think I'm gonna go for video games and trading card. Uh, I'll I'll probably do a face re reveal, you know, before the vlog, so y'all know what I look like. In case you do see me, I think that'd be really cool if, you know, I could see some of you guys. Um, but after that horrible voice crack, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe and make sure to support my channel. Uh, I, I think, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but you can donate. Uh, I think I'm going to put a card on this video. I'm not, I don't know how that works, but if you want to donate or anything, uh, go, go to, um, go to my main channel page. It really helps out. Uh, I'll probably get some more awesome stuff to open. So pretty much the more you donate, the more stuff I open, uh, and the more views this uh, video gets and all my others, then the more money I make and the more I get cool stuff like this, which I opened in my last video, the Absolute EX Collection, which was a blast. I'll link that to the description below as well. Um, but yeah, see you guys.